I noticed too that like coaches in sports, uh, teachers, uh, doctors, they don't comment on a child's mouth breathing like at all. It's not even a considered like a problem. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's even true at the professional level. I mean, professionally I w- as well. Oh yeah, I mean, like, it, how is that acceptable to like? Because they don't know. Because they don't know. Turn on a Celtics <laughs> game sometime. You live in New Hampshire, so you get Celtics games broadcast on your TV. Turn on yeah. a Celtics game and just look at um, Jason Tatum. He's mouth breathing the whole game. Yeah. He's uh, even he's, celebrities like in TV shows. Actually, I've noticed they're like, you know, it's like a style, I guess. It, especially with the women, like, have you seen yeah. that? The yep. open mouth kind of open mouth look. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's just, but um, I have a voice teacher um, who is also a speech uh, therapist at a school. And she told me that she's not allowed to comment on a child's mouth breathing habit. Like it's not her business. Um, like I asked her about it cause I sing. So we talk about the, you know, airway and I told her how it's related to singing. Um, and I asked her like, like, what do you do about like kids who are mouth breathing? Are you allowed to, as a speech, um, speech pathologist, like address that with the kids at your school? And she's like, nope, it's not my business to do that. The parents will get mad like, I just think that's not okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it should be, like... Yeah. Administrators and doctors should be, like, really... Because mewing might not be proven, but, like, mouth breathing and the consequences of that are definitely recognized. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, I think that this is a problem in general where you have too much... You have over-specialization by Mm -hmm. healthcare professionals and by experts in general where they're afraid because probably because of our litigious world, they're afraid of getting sued. They don't want to uh, leave their lane. They're in a lane and her lane is singing and she is not allowed to go into the left lane or the right lane, which might be, oh, you know, diet and airway or like sleep and mental health. Or like, you know, what are you doing when you're not singing to improve your body and your mind to be a better singer? She has to keep her lane because otherwise she's afraid of getting the book thrown at her. This even exists in medicine. Orthodontists for the longest time and probably still a lot of them would say, your airway is not my business. All that's your business is your teeth. All that's my business is your teeth, your occlusion, the straightness of your teeth, the comfort of your bite. And if you want to talk about your airway, go see an ENT. And then, the, yeah. and then here's, the, here's the weirdness. You go see an ENT, and of course, your airway is related to your teeth and to your maxilla size and the position of your jaws in general. And they say, you know, if you have an issue with your jaws, go see your orthodontist. And so it's like, you're, it's kind of like when you call Verizon to, to fix an issue <laughs> with your phone, like, Customer yep. service sends you to tech support and then tech support sends you back to customer service. No one wants to take responsibility. 